result that you wanted tonight, things didn't go exactly the way you planned. I mean, what do you take out of a fight like this, and, and you know, what do you do moving forward? I know that's the obvious question. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, devastating, embarrassed. Sports sometimes have like the lowest of lows, and you know, really don't feel lower than right now, but be all right. And you know, might not get another shot at Al. Uh, I fought a lot of great fighters in my career, and he's definitely up there amongst them. We'll see, we'll see once, uh, once everything gets settled down. Was, was avenging the, the loss from nearly five years ago even part of what you thought about this week? Does, does, does that matter in this loss, or is it just kind of the timing of it? You had some momentum that you know you were trying to knock some of his momentum down. Yeah, I think uh, I think I let the mind games play into me a little bit, but I really, honestly, I can't make no excuses. I had a great camp. It was a great cut. Uh, everything felt on fire tonight. You know, first three rounds I thought for sure I had him. Uh, and then I just took my foot off the gas. And those are just tactical mistakes that uh, a guy like me shouldn't be making. And uh, I couldn't be more disappointed in myself for it. Are, are you more disappointed than you were when you lost the time? Yeah. Just because I, just cause I, I, I know that I could have went a lot harder. You know, that 20 fight, I, I gave everything I had uh, until my body just couldn't take it no more. In this fight, I ended the fight feeling good, and, and, and that's just, it's just an awful feeling. When Al was announced, you seemed very surprised. Yeah, I thought for sure in the first three rounds. Uh, I don't know what the judges were seeing in the first round. You know, I don't know if they were giving them points for, for attempted takedowns that weren't even, you know, I, I honestly don't know. I had to rewatch the fight in order to see. Uh, but he didn't hit me with anything the first, you know, the first three rounds. You know, he, he had a good shot in the beginning of the fourth. So I knew that, uh, I knew that he had won that fourth round. And it was, it, it was close going into the fifth. But I still thought I pulled it out. And, you know, it, it, you know, I'm not a judge. I don't, I don't, it's not my job, but, you know, I felt, I, I felt I could have done that. You got that mind locking a couple of times. Were you surprised about the final loss? Was it No, I'm, I'm not surprised. You know, the, it, Al has very good defense. Uh, he's one of the best in the world at that, especially at not letting you kind of get your rhythm and get going uh, on the ground. So I was kind of expecting that. You know, I, I think I could have done a better job of fighting my style. You know, if you look at my last fight, uh, it was a lot of me pushing forward, especially in orthodox. And this time, I tried to switch it up too much and back up too much and, and fight the southpaw and showing that I could fight off the back foot. Um, you know, and, and I guess the only thing I can really take from it right now is just that I got to fight my own fight a little bit more. Uh, I tried to switch up my style a little bit too much. I think. That, that, that cost me. When you had the body lock, was it a matter if you didn't want to gas your arms out, trying to go for the choke, or did he actually power out? No, he had good defense, and you know, tactical mistakes. You know, I mean, I, I can say a lot. Uh, Al did a great job, and uh, you know, I can say I could have did this, could have did that, he could have did this, could have did that. But you know, at the end of the day. Uh, it was a wonderful fight that I let loose. I mean, yeah, it's always really, really hard for me to get down to this weight. Uh, you know, and people have been telling me, the, you know, especially as the older I'm getting, it's getting a little bit harder each time. So uh, it might be a time for me to make that change. I knew it about a year ago. Uh, but I'm a stubborn son of a bitch, so I just tried to, you know, kind of make as many adjustments as I can and make it as clean as I can. Uh, but it still is very rough for me to get down to this weight. And, you know, maybe, maybe now it's just time for me to go up and, and start looking at other options. Is there any hope for 165? Aspen was in here talking about that. Yeah, I mean, I, I would hope so. You know, I think it's, I think it's long overdue. Uh, that's all I can do is hope, you know, at this point. You know, I was one of the first guys to start talking about it. I'm going to continue to push forward just because I think it's, it's, it's so necessary. Uh, even if it, even if I don't, I'm not a part of it, I still think 165 is coming. Uh, and if they do, then 
maybe I might look to there and, and, and see if I can prolong my body a little bit more. I definitely was feeling it going into that fifth round. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I think I could uh, compete very well at 170. Uh, I'm a big guy, especially if I, if I just let my body kind of fill out. Uh, so much of my time is spent staying low and leaning out and, and taking away muscle mass. Uh, and even at 155, I got a lot of muscles still on me. So maybe if I go ahead and pull some out of that, you know, and, and uh, pull some of that back. I, I think I can compete very, very well at 170 and be fast enough in and out of the pocket too. Uh, I don't know, man. We'll, 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 we'll see as, uh, as I kind of get healed up. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Kevin.